what up what up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel this is robbie and today we are going to continue modeling our dragon so first up remember to like subscribe for me to make more videos like this and well without further ado let's jump right in amazing logo okay so first things first we're going to select these polygons here and we're going to fix them something like this Okay, so I'll push E on the keyboard for extender and I'll extrude. I'll rotate it Y on the keyboard and I'll still try to fix them like this. Make sure good topology while doing this. We continue. And I'll just extrude some more and pull it in front. T to move. I'll just stretch it while I'm here. Still try to fix the topology here, making sure my, my polygons are in order. I'll select these and I'll select loop. I'll convert them to points so that I can see my, my points. Then I'll move them around like this. I'll still try and fix them just a bit. Well, that looks convincing enough. Just a bit of some tweaks. Okay, let's just move some like these two, let's just drag them in, even the ones here down here, let's just drag them in, okay, let's move these as well. So at this point I'll just try to fix some of these polygons, you know. It's not an easy job, you know, you just have to keep tweaking, you know, art is something very difficult. You, you know, you have to feel it in your gut, so if you don't feel it, hmm, tweak, tweak my bro. I think that looks better okay so I'll select these and I'll just drag them in okay I think that's good let's go to the bottom and let's select these edges here and extrude and move T to move so I'll change my selection mode to mouse and just shrink them in like this I will those two I want to bring out my edges in front as well so let's extrude some more and extrude up to there control w to weld or weld those points let's extrude these out these as well and some more and a last one so now we have to weld this control w weld weld and weld oh i don't think these are welding no okay so what we have to do is let's go to uh to, let's go down here let's go and see what's going on we'll weld those two there's something going on here okay let's let's see what's going on so here, what we're going to do is once we select these, see there are three polygons, there's three points here. There are three points here, so you select this to that, and weld, control W. Same thing on the other side as well. This to that, and weld. Then we'll select this as well, to that, and weld, control W on the keyboard. And for the last one, this, to the center and world 
Wait, did I word on the right spot? Oh, uh, no, no. Undo. Select that and word. Okay, that looks good. Now to fix these edges to match up with my reference. So I'll select these and I'll start shrinking them to make the, the shape of the neck. Select all these. And I'll just shrink them. I'll shrink them even this side as well. And I'll just try to fix the topology as usual. This looks good. Select these as well. Uh, select loop. Okay, it's going in front. I don't think I want to select all these, so I'll deselect those and I'll just H on the keyboard to stretch and I'll stretch them in and I'll do the same to most of these. So, just to get the, the shape of the head. Okay, we select these ones on the bottom now, just drag them out a bit and now we can continue extruding now, extrude E on the keyboard to extrude and then we'll stretch it just to make it match the reference. Okay, let me just fix these. Okay, let's just move this a bit like that. Select these ones as well. Same thing, let's just move them a bit. Okay, on the last part. Okay, that looks better. Okay, let's just bring these edges in. So I'll just start moving them. Use T to move. And just move them in same thing with the others try to make them equally spaced in between let's continue extruding e for extender and we continue remember to stretch and rotate stretch where necessary, you need you can rotate. Okay, let's continue again. Extrude some more. Oh, before I go too far, let me also fix my side because I was only fixing the right side. I forgot about the back side. So I'll select this select loop. Push tab on the keyboard to see it in sub patch. It looks good for me. So now I've noticed one thing. I need to move some of these uh, polygons in front because it doesn't reach the front. So I'll just stretch it out. Uh, drag two and just move this out like that. Okay, you see it in your in your perspective view and it looks nice okay select these make sure in edge mode continue extruding let's keep going 
you extrude, you stretch, and you go. Okay, so we reached the far end, but remember we were only dealing with the right side, we forgot about the back side. So now we have to go back to the back side and just follow the reference. Select, select loop and stretch it out. Select, select loop, stretch it out. There's a problem here because now whenever i'm stretching it out look the these parts are actually overlapping each other undo turn off the symmetry so we'll go back and turn off the symmetry and we start we start again select select loop and we stretch it out Some of these you just have to keep it in your mind how would it look like because on the reference we really don't have the, the back of this. I don't know how, how it really looks like so I'm just keeping it in my mind thinking how it would look like. I like what I've made so far. So what I'll do is I'll come back here for the legs. I'll select these here, these polygons and delete them. And I'll just make them into a round shape. I'll select them, select loop and E for extender. I'll start extruding the legs. I'll turn on the symmetry again and I'll get the stretch to H on the keyboard and just drag them in one direction to make them straight. I'll select these polygons down here and drag them inside. Select these again, select loop and let's continue moving them down. Stretch. Remember to follow the reference on both sides. So you drag stretch and rotate
I'll just leave it here. I'll come back for the toes. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I don't like the way the tail is here, so I'll just drag it in. Let's reshape this a bit. Okay, for the front legs, I'll delete these polygons here. And i also try to make them round. Every now and then where you feel like it's not looking great, so just tweak a bit. Okay, so I'll select these edges. Okay, I just move them in. I can't see anything right now, so I'll bring the light back on my image and... If for extender, I'll start extruding going forward. Same thing, I think I'll bring back the light on the, the brightness on the right image. So... Okay, let's follow the reference now. Okay, edge to stretch and drag in one direction to make it flat. I'll continue extruding and following the reference. Okay, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. For the horns now, I'll I'll come to the head. Okay, let me take it to texture wired. I'll select these polygons here and I think these are better. Delete these. Select them, select loop. Convert the edge to point mode so that you can see your point. And with the drag tool, control T on the keyboard, just try and make them round. Okay, let's just move them in like that, drag them out a bit. Okay, following the reference. And now we can start extruding. E for extender and let's follow the reference as much as possible. Okay, I still don't like the shape. I think I need to reshape it just a bit. Looks good to me. Just shrink it. Make sure it's following the reference and continue extruding. Extrude, move, and stretch. Let's just flatten it using the stretch tool. Just make sure you follow the reference.
okay so now what we'll do is let's just fix this put it here and we'll have to close the end so take it back texture wired in point mode select four points like this so and push p on the keyboard remember to select these in order same thing here p select these p okay let's push select all these polygons that you've made push tab on the keyboard okay some are flipped so push f on the keyboard select like these ones and flip them okay so thank you for watching this video has been so long i'll continue in the next video make sure to catch me in the next video be sure to catch me in the next video and thank you for watching